thanks, Doug. First in the news this week is an incredible paper that has described two new specimens of juvenile Gorgosaurus. The paper explains how their discovery helps to improve our knowledge and understanding of the anatomy and growth stages of Tyrannosaurids, with the timing of certain developments now being able to be determined based on comparisons with other Gorgosaurus specimens of different ages. Comparisons with T. rex, too, have revealed some interesting things about the timings of certain skeletal transformations that occur as the animals grow, revealing an apparent dissociation between the timing of cranial development and body size in Tyrannosaurid dinosaurs. Also in the news is a very interesting study looking into the life appearance of the so-called scimitar-toothed cat Homotherium. Examining both fossil specimens, as well as living big cats, and dissecting specimens of modern felids, the authors of this study find evidence to suggest that, unlike classic depictions of this cat, Homotherium would actually not have had exposed upper canines projecting from its jaw when the mouth was closed, with sufficient soft tissue present to cover these structures. The famous Smilodon, however, was found to likely still have exposed canines though, as the jaw shape of this cat is quite different to that of Homotherium, suggesting the infamous saber teeth would still have been visible even when the mouth was shut. And quickly, a full trailer for the upcoming Prehistoric Planet has just been released and looks unbelievably amazing. I'd highly recommend going and having a look, there's so much new footage. 